Hi, this is David from Ash IT. Now we've just received in the latest uh, PCIe Gen 4 SSD from Western Digital. This is the SN770, and it's a new sort of mid-range PCIe Gen 4 SSD. And what's so impressive about this SSD is the first sort of mid-range that Western Digital have introduced that's got very good read and write specifications. It's not far off their bigger brother, the SN850. Now we've just got in the two terabytes. I'm gonna be putting this in my latest Alienware. Uh, so I want a lot of storage capacity because obviously you've only got two slots in a laptop, so I've got to make every slot count. So there's two terabytes on this drive, and it's got a maximum read of about 5,000 and write of 5,000 megabytes a second. That's pretty impressive for an actual mid-range SSD. Now when I was looking to put the SSD in my laptop, I was actually started off looking for a Gen 3 drive because it's only going to be a storage drive and, and for games. But when I was looking at the pricing, I found that this drive is pretty much the same price as a Gen 3 that it's kind of replacing. So you're getting a lot of extra speed for no extra money, and it's much cheaper than the SN850. Now the drive itself looks quite basic. You can see there's only one side on the drive is taken up and there's just one main flash chip on there. But obviously with the 5000 read and write, it's still pretty impressive with the specs that it's giving you. So the good news is you have no problems fitting this in any laptop because there's nothing on the back of the SSD. Now being a Gen 4, it does run reasonably hot no hotter than any other Gen 4 drives that we've actually tested, but make sure you use a heatsink on these Gen 4 drives. Now very often your motherboard will come with the actual heatsink on the motherboard. Make sure you use it, that does make a massive difference to the temperatures. Now bear in mind, this is going in a laptop. I actually just got myself a very cheap copper plate with thermal tape on it, because obviously there's not much space to play with with these drives. But even this drops the temperatures for about 5-10 degrees when it's on full load. So installing this in your laptop or your desktop is incredibly easy. These M.2 drives are so easy to fit. If there's a screw already in place in the drive, make sure you take that out first. You slide your drive into the actual M.2 slot, screw it down, and then screw your actual heatsink over the top. Or in my laptop's case, I stick the heatsink on the top. It really is that straightforward. Now once you boot into Windows, because this is a secondary drive, I don't need to install Windows on this uh, drive here. Just right click on the start menu and choose disk management and when you go into your disk management it will automatically tell you that there's a new drive being detected. You follow the on-screen prompts and put in the actual name for the actual drive and then you right click on that new drive and format it. Just a simple partition and you're away. It really is that simple and you're up and running with your new SSD. Now I've tested this with Crystal Disk Mark and the actual rated speed is pretty much very accurate. And I got about 5,000 on the read and write with my two terabyte drive. That's really quite impressive. Now temperatures in my laptop is obviously going to be a lot hotter than in a desktop. And with my little aluminium plate heat sink on, it got up into the late 70s, which is still absolutely fine for this drive. But if you've got this in your PC with a much heavier duty heat sink on, the temperatures will be much better. And it's not a problem with these drives anyway, because they easily go up to 80 degrees with no issue. And the great thing with Western Digital being an established and premium company, and this being one of their premium drives, it's backed by a five year warranty, which is something I always look for when I'm buying something like an SSD, because you know the data on these drives is so important, it can't be replaced. So at least having a five year warranty, if it does go wrong, they will replace it for you. But the fact they're offering that five year warranty, they've obviously got some confidence in their product. So in conclusion, this is a fantastic little drive. It's well priced, about the same as normal Gen 3 drive, but giving you proper PCIe Gen 4 performance just under the actual performance of the actual SN850 drive. And that SN850 drive is a lot more expensive than this SN770. So if you're not looking for absolute maximum performance, and in all honesty, you're probably not even going to notice the difference between this and the SN850 anyway, save yourself quite a bit of money and go for something like this over the more premium drives. Thanks for watching.